Go in. Go in. Go in. Go in. Go in. Go in. I am hungry for my freedom. They charged me with obstructing traffic. Two weeks ago, I was placed in this metal box like a beast. When I signed up to fight for suffrage, I did not know it entailed my own suffering. Yesterday, I was force fed. They placed the metal contraption in my mouth so it wouldn't close. They forced the tube down my throat. I almost choked. I can feel the scars forming around my lips. I can taste the blood. Bitter. The easiest way to die in solitary confinement is to simply not eat. Give me liberty or give me death. They think I'm psychotic, but I'm just hungry for my freedom. <laughs> What if I told the 33 women who suffered through the night of terror in Alpacan prison that in 2013, women are still not equal to men? These being the women who sacrificed their lives just to fight for the right to vote. They gained the vote in 1920. Yet still 90 years later, women are still not equal. Though women are lawfully represented to be paid equal, they still only make 77 cents to the dollar, but why is this so? It's not like our male society is not accepting of these females. Do we think that women are not capable? Because in my personal experience, women are plenty capable. <laughs> this also goes for their intelligence. A woman's brain fully develops four to five years earlier than that of any males making their common sense superb. <laughs> it's not that male society doesn't think that women are capable, it's because we're scared. You know, deep down inside every male's mind, we know that women run all of the shit. I mean, <laughs> every household that I have ever been to, where there was both a husband and a wife, it doesn't matter if the female or the male makes in the bank, it's always the woman who plans everything, who knows all the logistics, and whose permission is key if you want to do anything, unless you like strenuous arguments that lead to conversations that you never seem to win. <laughs> is that even though society might not always believe in equality, women should never have to be confined to the culmination of coins that don't ever seem to equivocate to a dollar. Women should never have to be placed in boxes based off the stereotypical slander slung by the likes of radical minority minds that never seem to cease in their assault. It is time for all of us to rise to equality. Feminism, women equal to men, nothing greater, nothing less. So finally, let's all make a promise to those 33 women that sometime soon their hunger will be satisfied.